There were over 11 million COVID-19 cases and 525,000 fatalities worldwide as of July the 4th, 2020. In the United States, with over 2.8 million positive cases and 129,000 deaths reported, it has become the epicenter of the COVID-19 pandemic. The Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, claimed that enormous evidence shows that the coronavirus escaped from the Wuhan Institute of Virology in China. But other U.S. administration officials have expressed skepticism about this assertion. Pompeo changed his tune later. In fact, there were 15 biosafety level 4 facilities identified in the U.S. in 2007, including nine at federal labs. America has the most biosafety level 4 facilities in the world. Fort Detrick in Maryland hosted most elements of the United States biological defense program. Historically, Fort Detrick was the center of the U.S. biological weapons program from 1943 to 1969. Chemical weapon tests were performed on 7,000 U.S. soldiers from 1956 to 1975, and they involved exposures to more than 250 different chemicals without realizing what was happening. Beyond this, the U.S. military has set up at least 200 biosecurity labs in 25 countries for research and development of biological weapons. For example, at least 13 labs have been set up in Ukraine, and some of those are located miles from the Russian border. Under support from the U.S., countries like Georgia, Uzbekistan, Thailand, and Korea also have established biological labs. A lot of citizens in these countries actually opposed to constructing such kind of labs. In June 2020, dozens of Korean residents took to the street and opposed the United States establishing four biological labs in Korea. No one knows the purpose of these labs and how many incidents have happened inside or outside. The world is under deadly threat if they are developing biological and chemical weapons, even if the Americans are not safe. On September 18, 2001, one week after the September 11 terrorist attacks, letters containing anthrax spores were mailed to several news media offices and to Democratic senators in the U.S., killing five people and infecting 17 others. The scientist, Bruce Edwards Ivans, who worked at the U.S. government's biodefense labs at Fort Detrick Biolab, was pointed out as the perpetrator by FBI. Some of the American people doubted whether COVID-19 was related to the closure of Fort Detrick in July 2019 due to ongoing infrastructure issues with wastewater decontamination. At that time, the CDC declined to provide the reason for the shutdown due to national security concerns. Under the United Nations Charter, the proliferation of biological weapons constitutes a threat to international peace and security. States are obliged to prevent the manufacture or development of biological weapons. The Biological Weapons Convention is a legally binding treaty that outlaws biological arms. It currently has 183 states' parties. However, the United States refused to adopt the relevant protocol to this document in 2001 and ceased allowing inspections on its soil. The outbreak of COVID-19 has led to enormous loss of life and economy. No one expects to suffer another worldwide infectious disease, much less to experience biological warfare. For the health and safety of all human life, it is necessary to strengthen worldwide laboratory safety management, urge the United States to carry out biological laboratory safety investigations under international supervision, and reveal their horrible veil.